Now we're going to be making our brioche crusted halibut on crew over grilled asparagus, asparagus puree, and a shaved white asparagus salad. And we're just going to be finishing that with a little bit of a bacon cream sauce. So our halibut dish, we have uh, Alaskan halibut from Sitka, Alaska. So we've basically taken brioche, fro we freeze it, and then slice it very thin on the meat slicer. And this is our end product. We then cut the brioche to the size of our portion halibut. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take just a little bit of uh, melted butter, brush it on the halibut, touch of sea salt, and then that brioche goes right down on top of that butter. That butter is kind of uh, an adhesive for the brioche. So we'll start in the pan, get the oil nice and hot, and we have our halibut with our brioche crust on it, and we're gonna put that straight down, bread side down. And we're just gonna let that simmer for about a minute. And I always just shake it a little bit just to make sure that bread's not sticking to the pan. Once I can see that the bread's starting to crisp up a little bit on the outside, we're gonna take it, and we're not gonna flip it, and we're gonna throw it right into the oven. So while that's cooking, we have some bacon that's been uh, rendered down. This is for the bacon sauce that we're gonna do. We're gonna strain off most of the fat, keeping some of the fat. We're gonna hit it with just a little bit of shaved onion. We're gonna saute those until they begin to caramelize. Then we're gonna deglaze with a touch of sherry vinegar. And we're gonna drop that vinegar down until it's almost dry in the pan. We will then finish it with a touch of cream and let that cream simmer until it's reduced by half until we get a nice uh, consistent sauce consistency on there. We're gonna check our fish, flip it, and we have a perfectly crusted piece of halibut. Nice brown, golden brown. We don't want black or anything. So that's finishing in the oven. We'll continue to plate. So we put our asparagus puree down the plate. Basically what we've done is taken onions, garlic, added cream, and asparagus stems. Puree all of that together, add in fresh blanched asparagus to get it that bright green color again. Then I'm gonna take our asparagus, again, which has been grilled, which is gonna add a lot of depth to this dish, a nice kind of grilled flavor. Grilling always reminds me of spring. Uh, because that's when people, the weather gets nice and everyone starts to bust out the grills. So we got our green and white asparagus. We're then gonna take some raw asparagus. This is uh, shaved white asparagus. We're just gonna hit it with a little bit of fresh cracked pepper, a little bit of salt, chopped parsley, and minced chives. And it's gonna be dressed in a little bit of curry oil and a little bit of uh, lemon vinaigrette, which is just fresh lemon juice, a little bit of olive oil, and salt. So that's kind of our salad component here. You're looking for a lot of nice fresh lemon juice in this. Our halibut is now done, crusted. Again, we flipped it, let it crust, and just flipped it once. And we're just gonna finish this with a little bit more of that raw asparagus, it gives it really nice fresh taste and kind of reinforces the all the asparagus on the plate. And at this point we just finished with some of that bacon cream that's been reducing. And then what I have here is just a little bit of shaved carrot radish turnip and just a little bit of scallion and that's kind of our garnish. And here we have our brioche crusted halibut on crew over asparagus puree, grilled asparagus, white asparagus salad and a touch of bacon cream. Thank you for joining us here tonight at the dinner party and please stop by 24 South Michigan at the Gage restaurant for good people, great drinks and great food.